بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We have here the trachea and the bronchial, the bronchial tree and we have the esophagus Normally trachea develop from the caudal part of the foregut you know the GI tract the upper GI tract, the esophagus, stomach and proximal duodenum they develop from foregut initially from the primitive pharynx the foregut give a diverticulum give a diverticulum in its caudal part and that diverticulum continue to elongate and make the trachea so initially there is a connection between the trachea and the esophagus however as the as the bronchial tree then elongate the connection is lost and there is a disappearance or obliteration of this diverticulum between the trachea and the esophagus so now failure of this obliteration of diverticulum in the embryo will cause tracheoesophageal fistula and esophageal atresia this disease develops in different forms here you can see in the first one we have esophageal atresia and distal tracheoesophageal fistula and here are different types the most common one 85 percent of cases there is esophageal atresia and distal tracheoesophageal fistula what you could think of this patient what this baby may have well first during embryonic life because the baby cannot swallow you know baby in the embryonic life is swimming inside the amniotic cavity and there is amniotic fluid the baby is the, the infant or the fetus is swallowing this fluid and then excreting it in urine if the baby cannot swallow that infants will develop polyhydramnios increase in the amount of the amniotic fluid and that can be detected in gynecological obstetric uh, ultrasounds this is the first sign polyhydramnios then after birth when we give a, a baby breast milk or formula milk there will be difficulty in swallowing and regurgitation another thing is that when we do an x-ray and insert ng tube we insert ng tube and we want it to reach the stomach however because of the esophageal atresia the ng tube will go down and will stay in the in the blind end of the esophagus and when we take x-ray we find that ng tube located here and not reaching the stomach another sign or another feature that develop in this type of tracheoesophageal fistula is that because air is coming to the trachea and then it will pass to the esophagus to reach the stomach and when we take x-ray we find gastric bubbles inside the, the stomach gastric bubble on x-ray is another feature of tracheoesophageal fistula with distal uh, tracheoesophageal atresia with distal uh, fistula